In this video, we're going to explore the Espresso Compass, which is designed to show you the most likely way to find the balance in your coffee as easily and quickly as possible. Now there are a couple of ways that you can use this Espresso Compass. The first is if you're dialing in a new coffee from scratch, you don't really know what it's like and know where to go with the recipe. Uh, this will really help you get there much more quickly. And the second one is if you're tweaking a coffee that's already mostly dialed in, maybe it's just not tasting quite the way that you want it to, this will also help you get to where you need to go. This compass is meant to focus on the things that you may be tasting in the flavor of your coffee or the tactile or body of the espresso itself. The red dot in the center is clearly meant to be a bullseye. This is where you want your flavor to be. The idea is that you will taste your coffee. Based on the components that you're tasting, you will determine where it's at and try to find the path to the bullseye. So for example, if your coffee is too sour or high in acid, chances are you're going to want to increase the ratio, which means that you're going to put more water through the coffee that you're brewing. When the coffee is too sour, chances are you have not extracted enough of that coffee. On the other side of this is if the coffee is too bitter or has a dry finish. In this case, the chances are that you want to decrease the ratio of the coffee, meaning putting less water through the same amount of coffee grinds. I will say that there are a couple of different ways to increase or decrease your ratio. One is to keep the dose of coffee static and simply put more or less water through those coffee grinds. This is the most common way to change the ratio. However, if you find that this does not work for you, you may also want to try increasing or decreasing the amount of coffee grinds while keeping the extraction amount the same weight. This has a different impact on the flavor of the coffee and will greatly impact what you taste. A small change of even a half gram of your dose weight can have a very big impact on your actual ratio and flavor of your coffee. Next, we're going to look at the tactile sensation or the body weight of your espresso. If the body of your espresso is thin or watery, chances are we need a grind adjustment and we should change that grind finer. On the other side, if the body is heavy and the flavors are muddled and hard to distinguish, this is a good indication that you actually need to grind coarser and speed up the water flow through that coffee. Now all of these components by themselves are relatively simple ways of thinking about espresso. Now very rarely do we find these components by themselves with espresso and this is why we have some interim solutions as well. If the coffee itself is thin and sour, that means that we didn't extract enough of the coffee grinds and we did it too quickly. In that case, we'll want to grind finer and increase the ratio. Next, if the coffee is heavy and sour, that means we did not extract enough of those coffee grinds and we did it too slowly. In this case, we'll also increase the ratio, but we'll grind coarser instead. If the coffee is heavy and bitter, that means that we extracted too much of those coffee grinds and we did it too slowly. In this case, we'll grind the coffee coarser, but we'll decrease the ratio of coffee and water. Lastly, if the coffee is thin and bitter, that means that we extracted too much and we did it too quickly. So we're going to decrease the ratio of coffee and also grind finer to slow down that water flow. It's important to prioritize the stronger component of these problems. So for example, if the coffee is a little bit thin in body, but very bitter, you want to prioritize decreasing the ratio first and then make the grind finer if needed after that. By prioritizing which is the more prevalent issue, you'll find the right solution for your coffee brewing needs. By using this espresso compass to dial in your espresso shots, you'll be able to get more balanced, better tasting coffee more quickly and efficiently every time. I hope that you find it as useful as I have.